What was once tropical storm Ophelia made landfall in the Carolinas yesterday and has been creeping up the East Coast, bringing rainfall and flooding. Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team explains how these tropical storms form and why we get them mainly on the East Coast. Before we take a look at why storms often go on the East Coast, we need to understand how they form first. Now, first ingredient is unstable air and temperatures cool at temperatures are going to cool as they go up in the atmosphere. This is going to lead to convection, which basically means clouds moving up in the atmosphere. And in order to maintain these thunderstorm like conditions, we need these storms to maintain a level of over 15,000 feet above sea level or around three miles into the atmosphere. That is going to be the right height in order for these rain clouds and storm clouds to stick together well. Then we need them to not change speed too rapidly. We can't have them decelerate or accelerate in wind velocity too much. Otherwise, it's not going to create stable conditions for a storm. Now, as we get, keep on going and it turns into more of a tropical system, we need these warm 80 degree water temperatures or higher. Then we're going to get a tropical depression, which is all these thunderstorms and clouds circulating together and their circulation speed can't be over 39 miles an hour. Once it gets above that, we get a tropical storm. And it's the same thing, just higher circulation speeds. Now, circulation speeds is not to be confused with how fast the storm as a whole is moving. We usually see that more anywhere between 5 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour at the fastest rates. But they're not going to be moving laterally much more than that. But the circulation speeds are quite fast, 39 to 73, excuse me, miles an hour. Let's look at where in the U.S. we see these storms the most. I know we did just get one in California, but that's a rare occurrence. They hadn't had one in over 80 years up to that point. The prime area, it was right here. The Gulf of Mexico is a prime area for lots of these storms and tropical storms and hurricanes to brew up. You have that nice warm water and, and it's perfect conditions for those storms, especially to push eastward into Florida and moving through Georgia and the Carolinas as well. But it's not uncommon to see them moving from the Atlantic as well. And a lot of those storms tend to make their way up the East Coast as we can see right now, where we're tracking post-tropical storm Ophelia. Now, it's not moving too fast right now. It's moving in, you know, the single digits miles an hour as of right now, but we are seeing circulation speeds of 25 miles an hour, which is still enough to cause a problem for a lot of people. We've had tons of rain up in the East Coast. Currently, it's sitting right in, right in North Carolina, making its way through the DMV area, and we've been seeing a lot of flooding and even some states losing power because of knocked out power lines. And thankfully, the jet stream is what's going to make this move out of the northeast. We have the jet stream moving from the west to the east, and that's pushing all of, we can see from this curve right here that that's what's pushing this, this post-tropical storm out. Now, if the jet stream was moved a little more north, then we wouldn't see that as much. We would see that storm potentially make that move even more north into the New England area. And so that, those are the storms we really need to watch out for. And W22 News will always be providing updates whenever there are tropical storms in the area. Working for you, I'm Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team.